And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Is sex in your travel itinerary? It's one of the travel goals for a community called the Passport Bros, meaning brothers. It's a traveling community of upwardly mobile black men. Some are accused of going around the world searching for a more traditional and submissive wife. But is it all about sex and just a girlfriend for hire and then return home to humiliate black women in America? That's the controversy that we're dealing with. One of its members, Austin Holman, is apologizing for comments that he made about Brazil Brazilian women. Take a listen. What I meant by when I said <laughs> that Brazilian women are easy, and I shouldn't use the word easy. I know that now. I know that now. I'm sorry. But what I'm saying is, for a man that's well-mannered, well-dressed, that has put in the effort to, to raise himself, he will have an easier time in Brazil as opposed to where I was from. That wasn't always the case. Both American and women around the world are speaking out against the passport bros, arguing these guys are using their status to take advantage of women and even calling it a form of sex tourism and sex trafficking. Let's talk about it. Communication specialist Priscilla Pack and Rochelle Gemini both are here on the Factor Uncensored. We were supposed to do this last week. We're doing it this week. Mm -hmm. You have done a lot of research. When you think about and what you've heard about passport bros your opinion on this so-called group let me tell you they weren't even on my radar you brought it up to me and then I saw it and I was just like oh that's cute you know guys go and get their passports my son just got his passport last week he nine so that's cool passport brothers that's what's up then I start doing the research and I'm like wait a minute because I grew up, you know, with two-parent household. My parents still happily married. How I grew up in love. Some people grew up in survival mode, and maybe mm -hmm. they just in a whole nother dimension of trying to find love or trying to find easy situations and everything. But at the same time, it was like, why do you have to put down the thing that you don't like in front of everybody just to get the thing that you do want? I don't care. But that being black women in America putting yeah. them down for women who may be of color in another country. Right, that want to be a little more... Who may be also submissive exactly. to them. Exactly. But also paid prostitution in that's, many cases. And that's what they're covering up. And you can tell that by the way that, what's his name, Austin? Mm -hmm. was talking because I saw the other videos of him going like, hey, you would have uh, <laughs> sexual intercourse with me tonight, right? And she's saying, yes. They about to really get a lick on him. That's what's really about to happen. Because I also saw, also saw some of the women from overseas saying, yeah, we're just trying to get a lick. You know, they also came out saying, we, we know these passport bros. They not new. Mm -hmm. So essentially, they're, they're chumps themselves. Yes. <laughs> they're simply John <laughs> on the streets of America. They might be, they might be some that might be actually looking for love that can't find it maybe in America. But and you, you, you right. didn't, you didn't let so. some, it, you didn't let some rotten apples into y'all group, and y'all need to call the ones out that's not doing it correctly. Because baby, we not just in America. You can claim wherever you want to be anytime. I don't care. Get a passport. Go find your love. But at the same time, don't put down us just because you feel like you've had some rejection. Deal with rejection. Heal. Go do your thing. We don't care. And of course, we're not talking about all individuals who may travel out of the country. But Priscilla, for those who may be taking advantage of women out there and then trying to humiliate black women in America. Your thoughts about that? I think it's really, really sad. Mm. Like, I look at them and I almost want to pity them, but then I don't because there's a level of ignorance um, that's deplorable. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use that word today. I think that um, they are taking advantage, at least for, from what they project themselves to be as a group, they're taking advantage of gender gaps and economic opportunities that are not there in these other countries that are present mm. for us in, in America, mm -hmm. in the States, in Canada, in Scandinavia, all over the world, and not even, not even thinking back to the history of why are women and people made to be so independent in this country today. I think there's so, so many factors that they shove to the side for their preferences and trying to deem it a movement, which is so disappointing to hear. 
the civil rights movement was a movement. Facts. Facts. <laughs> you know, anti-apartheid movement was a movement. Come on. So I'm thinking of passport pros like this is a shame. You could really take advantage of your opportunity to educate people on how to get a passport, wow. to go overseas, travel the world, and to learn, Do and not business. just make it be about sex. And the fact that now you're putting this stigma on people and black people in America that that is literally mushing us down. I hate that I said mushing couldn't find a better word right there. <laughs> right. But like bringing us down. Means. Right. They they all know. They know. Um, but what does that but do to hear for really our perspective? Quick, them talk so some of them, some of them, not all of them, mm -hmm. talk so badly about black women in America, saying you guys are too bossy, you're too much, you're not feminine enough for them. I think that. That sounds a lot to me like um, insecurities and the inability to seek what you want wow. with what you have, where you are. That's what I really think about that. It, it, almost, it almost disgusts me and is borderline gaslighting to sit here and treat American women, American black women, and, and try to shut us down because we may be educated or, or have the ability to obtain certain finances and social status that we're not in other countries. And you attract it's a shame. what you put out there, too. It's a shame. All right. Like, don't put that, that on us. <laughs> yeah, don't put that on us. Thank you, ladies, for joining us here on The Fact Around Since It's still ahead on The Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. All right, before we get started, I have something that I want to say to Isaiah or whatever his name is, of the Isaiah Factor and shit over there in Houston and whatnot. It's a subsidiary of Fox News uh, 26, Channel 26. I, you know, I have something I want. I just want to get off my chest, okay? I don't want you to hear me. And I, want you, I want you to hear me uh, very clear. Shut the fuck up, fat man. Shut your ass up. You shut your fat loser cuck ass up. You're quite clearly an employee, okay? You don't have a real opinion and shit. Your opinion has been given to you and shit by person, persons unknown and shit in service of this, uh, the field of black gynocracy and shit and overarching that, the oversight would be uh, the minority majority and shit that doesn't want us exploring the options and get outside of this system and shit, okay? And I want to tell you that men with passports are simply traveling, okay? They're going overseas and shit. They're taking vacations in other countries and shit and learning the culture and the lay of the land and shit. What a man does is his own personal business, okay? If he commits a crime, he will be uh, arrested by the authorities and shit. You already know this and shit, but you guys want to be performative and shit because we're low hanging fruit and we don't own our image and shit. We don't have any true way of punishing you, okay? And this is why you sitting your fat post-wall ass up there next to two hyenas running your goddamn mouth, okay? That's why it is. You know, I just have to reiterate, you, you know, I we're going to have to ask you fat ass to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, fat man, you black motherfucker. So, yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, given your probable opinion of us, uh, that outburst was expected and shit, okay? I'm pretty sure it was and whatnot. Uh, thanks for your little hit piece and everything. We like to know that we're living rent-free in your head while we're simply exercising our rights to travel and shit. You're going to have to do some hell of a gymnastics and shit to uh, lock us into this goddamn country, the toilet bowl, the porta potty that is America, shit, three K's and set, you know a fat man, okay, you got your butter biscuit and shit, and you don't give a fuck about anyone else and shit, do you, fatty, huh, you don't give a fuck about nobody else, you're a piece of shit, okay, Isaiah, or the Isaiah factor, the Isaiah factor, what is that, man, uh, is that something you get when you go to your proctologist and shit, motherfucker, huh, I'm booty boy, that what you want and shit? You trying to create a, 
uh, a pervasive uh, a sense of of in, imprisonment and shit, okay? We don't have the freedom of movement that our female counterparts is, and you're okay with this and shit. Is that, that what you're telling us and shit, Isaiah? Uh, we're traveling and shit, okay? Men are just going on vacation, okay? Men are going to see other countries, things they never saw before, things they never thought to see uh, before and shit, okay? Because uh, like a lot of them and shit, statistically, so there's, Statistically speaking, were raised in single parent households, matriarchal households, and they were miseducated, okay? They were raised to badly and shit. They were made to, uh, you know, endure a generational malaise and shit, you know, uh, uh, abuse and narcissism and shit, and a pervasive, uh, never ending uh, uh, gaslighting, you know, nagging and shit, you know, just shit talking, of physical abuse as well, okay? And we're told we're less than this shit. You, America wants us, America 3Ks and said wants us to know that we're products of this goddamn country and shit. After hundreds of years of goddamn chattel slavery and shit. And we, we, you, we don't want you to be nothing and you ain't going to get out of this shit alive. Okay? We want to lock you in this shit and we're going to do everything in our power to keep you here so that you'll be nothing, so that you'll be at the bottom of the, the, the fucking barrel. Okay? That's the message I get. Alright? And for that, you know, you know, I hope karma comes swiftly for you like the four horsemen and shit for co-signing this bullshit. I gotta say that, um, you know, if there's such thing as a Christmas wish, uh, it would be that uh, a lot of black women would know when to just shut the fuck up. Okay, we would really like you guys to just simply shut the fuck up and shit. You know, above all else, at the top of the list would be shut the fuck up. Okay? We're tired of hearing it. We don't want to hear it no more. We don't want to deal with it and shit. We're tired of you motherfuckers, and we just want to get the fuck out and shit. We're tired of the nonstop abuse and the sign language and the nagging and the gaslighting above all else. And I can't stand that gaslighting. I can't stand the the uh, infantilized behavior that you've passed down through generations of miseducating your offspring and shit. A copy of a copy and this this is where we are today where every last one of you motherfuckers think you sit on some kind of metaphorical throne and shit and you got this fake ass righteous indignation while our ethnic community is, uh, you know, on the verge of extinction and shit. In, in a number of categories, by the way. And yet you gotta sit up and Fix your mouth to talk greasy about men taking a fucking vacation and doing whatever and shit. When you do it yourself, okay? You do everything you complain about and shit. And, and you got oversight from the minority majority. You're, you're like third white in, in society and shit behind every other group of shit. You're third white. You're the most free bitches next to white people and shit, okay? And we're tired. We just want to get the fuck out and shit. And we don't want to hear what you think about it, okay? Why don't you just shut the fuck up? Okay, none of y'all know how to shut the fuck up. You know why that is? Because you're the white people of black people, niggas. You're the white people of black people and shit. You know, that's like when, you know, my parents grew up in pre-civil rights movement south and shit, okay? Both of my parents and shit. And this remind me of shit that I heard about, you know? How, like, you know, the... Minority majority would always come around and ask you what you were doing like they were your parents and shit and stick their nose in your business while they doing the worst. You know, come over there to ask you what you're doing, then fuck you over. Much like how you guys are doing today and shit. This fucking week, this past week, I have watched uh, black women uh, come together and shit like fucking Voltron to do everything in their fucking power to lock niggas in this motherfucking country and shit, okay? You don't want us to go nowhere and you don't, you just want to stay here and be your victims and shit, okay? To be your victims and shit. You, you guys say you don't give a fuck, but like, you won't shut the fuck up. I mean, really, what, what does it take? Like, it's like deafening. It's like cry of a banshee, okay? It's the cry of a banshee. I can barely, you know, now that I've seen it on Fox News and shit, and on Yahoo and shit. I don't know that I can escape the, the banshee well of these hyenas and shit, okay? I want you to shut the fuck up and shit. 
I want to be honest about it. Like, it, I have a pain in my gut, man. I have a pain in my gut from the never-ending bullshit. And that's, you know, underlying the, the pervasive issue that I'm talking about right now. Just on a general basis, every time you go out, you meet somebody, they have a shitty attitude, they're goddamn contrary and shit, and they, they you're supposed to you supposed to just toe the line and shit. Well, no, we're not going to toe the line. The math ain't mathin', okay? No, okay? No. All right? I'm just tired. We've seen so many goddamn videos. And I, I, I just can't believe, you know, I like the minority. You know, Cointel Pro did one hell of a job. Them and Gloria Steinem did one hell of a job. You know, they just can lump Margaret Sanger in there. Did one hell of a job bringing us to the brink of extinction and shit. I don't know who the fourth horseman is and shit. I don't know. The fourth horseman is a black woman. You know? You know, in this society, man, you guys want to wipe us out. You want to be invisible and shit. I'll never forget when that goddamn Wakanda Fever movie came out and they had that that female Iron Man and shit and that bitch was, they kept showing that bitch going, yo, let's go, doing the gorilla thing and shit. I just, it felt like a theft. And we, we're tired of, you can have all the shit over here. You can have all the shit. Uh, okay, motherfuckers is going to have freedom to go travel and shit and have a vacation and be apart from you. Not see your fucking face and shit. And the niggas over here and shit. I want them, you know, it's getting to a fever pitch. We're just going to ignore your fucking ass, okay? We're going to shun your ass. You want us to be invisible? We really are going to be invisible because we're going to shun your fucking ass. We're going to have nothing to do with you or your offspring or nothing. Okay? We're not going to, you know, brothers are going to protect the seed. They're going to keep their head on the swivel and shit. They're not going to engage with you motherfuckers other than uh, the shit that is absolutely fucking necessary. You know, all these dissidents and shit, and all these simps and these female tampons, those are your niggas, okay? Those are the guys you get to make babies with and nig and talk shit and say, I'm rubber, you're glue, and blah, blah, blah. All right? I'm disgusted. I'm so tired of the 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 racism of black women, okay? The, and the racism, the Bull Connor bullshit racism and shit, the, the fucking Jim Crow the new Jim Crow's black women and shit. Motherfuckers just taking a vacation. You 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 can't go nowhere and take a vacation. They want you to stay here. It's like that fat old stinking ass bitch in that goddamn clip I might include in this shit. When she say you you brothers ain't going nowhere. You stay here and you get you a good black woman right here. It's like no, we ain't getting no good black woman right here. Okay, you just shoot us then. Okay? You fucking kill us. We tired of shit. You shut the fuck up. I'm serious. I don't want to say I don't want to say it. Okay? But, you know, I guess you could kind of feel it in, you know, my words and the inflection and shit. You can kind of feel what 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 I'm what I'm putting out there, okay? All right. You, you can never shut the fuck up. You know, the sisters can never shut the fuck up, and they don't realize how they talk to us and shit. And it's gotten to a point where I hate hearing other people talk about black women's motives, okay? About their motives, you know, and intellectualizing it to the hand gestures and all that bullshit. I see all these goddamn lives. Makes me sick, makes me happy that I don't even do that shit. You know, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the in, over uh, intellectualizing all this bullshit. They're just racist. They're racist. They're gender bent, racist in blackface and shit with ovaries who have the ability to reproduce and shit. You know, and they're the smartest and most educated, strong, independent, don't need no man, but they're all delicate little flowers when it comes to their wombs which they habitually mismanage and shit, and, and procreate and make fucked up versions of us, you know, with the worst of, of candidates. All right, they can't mismanage shit, but they're supreme, and they're goddesses, and uh, as a black queen, and all this bullshit, no matter what they look like or anything, you're just supposed to go bobbing for apples in a goddamn toilet. 
Right? Supposed to go bobbing for apples in a goddamn toilet. I'm telling you, if I had a fucking dollar for every time I some black chick told me what's what, or explained something to me I didn't ask for, okay, mansplained and shit, you know, nigga explained, whatever the fuck you want to call it, okay, you don't wag your finger at us, okay, you don't wag your motherfucking finger, you shut your goddamn mouth and you 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 kick rocks, okay. I don't care which way you go, but to get the fuck out of my face, get out of our face. We're tired of you. Don't you get it? We're tired. It's not even that many guys going over and shit, but it's okay. You keep it up, okay? You keep it up. Don't worry. The minority majority is going to be happy as fuck because we're going to go down from double digits to single digits and shit in the next 40 fucking years. And then you'll get your reparations and you'll get to live on a, a, a... a fucking reservation is still going to be a ghetto. It's still going to be the projects. You know why? Because the black woman is the right hand of white supremacy. Here it goes. One, two, three.